How's it going guys? Just a quick shout out, mail call, um, stash ads and update on a build. Firstly I want to give a shout out to Jedro. I got this card last week, I was waiting on Jedro to receive mine. So I know he was after getting it. Um, thanks for the kind words on the back Jedro. Much appreciated. If anyone's um, subscribed to me that hasn't subscribed to Jedro, please go out and give him a, a follow there. I'll put his channel name in the description. Just hit the link in the description to check him out. He's a nice guy. This is a picture of his original 1940s. Um, I think it's 48, yeah. Uh, uh, that's his own car. That's no model or diorama. That's his real car. He restored this. It's beautiful. So, thanks for the kind words, Jetro, And I much appreciate what you Thank you. Um, I just want to give a shout out to the guys who didn't receive the cards that got sent out with Jetro. Jetro didn't get one. Um, Jetro didn't get his card. Um, Justin from J Hart Model Works didn't get his card. Card and David Chin from New York didn't get his card either. Now I sent them a resend. The whole lot of them got resent the other day except Justin's because I didn't know Justin didn't get his for sure until he done his last video call to say that that was the last one in so yeah I'm gonna resend one out to you today Justin just so you know okay buddy so shout out to them three guys as well anyway this is my update on the Mustang at the moment yeah I didn't do much since I painted the other day I only did that's a flat red interior now I'm gonna mask off what I want red the dark cards like and then I'm going to go over with flat black. So, um, being that it's going to be a fast back, you won't, like, you won't be able to see into the back. I'm not going to put the, the back seat in. If you get me, you'll only be able to see in the back window. The big back window. You won't be able to see into the back seats. But it's one of them cars, isn't it? That it that's why it's an option. You, you add in the back seat the back of the seat to the model uh, tub if you want to use the rear seats but anyway this is how far I am on the engine I de a lot of parts and I left just the carburetor and the the bottom oil pan chrome I'll do, uh, what I'll do with that is give it that a bit of um, some coating uh, what's that panel line so yeah that's what I've done so far with the engine I'm planning on wiring the engine so as is now I've only done one or two engines I think in the past but the body um, is cured nice now blue a few little dust particles in it as expected <laughs> so yeah that's where I am with the Mustang lads and you see white on the seats it's gonna be black anyway because I'm gonna mask off the red part Bit of dust in the middle of the house, yeah. It just make it look like wear and tear, won't it? It's obviously in the the airbrush because you can sort of like blue speckles. Maybe I'll just dab the brush over it, the paintbrush with flat red on it, over that patch. But yeah, that's where I am on the Mustang boys. If you haven't following that build, that's a build with um, me and Kenny. Oh, Brendan, I'm always saying Kenny. Sorry, Brendan. Me and Brendan from New Zealand. Just a little um, fr friendly buddy build. Just it's not the same Mustang, but same era Mustang. This is a 65, mine's a 66. Um, first mail call today in kits. Uh, as you just know, I've been waiting to get this kit in a while. He actually ordered this in for me. So, um, yeah, got it in the end. This, I'm not using the bike, the bike, this bike that I, I just wanted to build. I built this yesterday. So it, I, that's just testing the the paint, the colour, what it looked like, because I've never used that for military. That's a side cart with a BMW R70. Now, I'm not using that bike, even though it's the same bike she's on. I'm not using this bike. I'm going to use a, a scrambler, a scrambling bike for her instead. So yeah, that's the plan with that. Um, 
yes now I'll, I'll be doing a diorama that's what that black base is on the bottom there that is what the diorama is gonna go on to I did get two of these to have more zombies instead of resin casting them I bought that um, resin 48 hour resin stuff up oh, 48 hour the 48 is in my head because of Jetro and then Craig's group build I would just that's why it's in my head because I wanted to mention about Craig um, I'll try my best to get the Mustang done before next weekend and if I do get it done I'll be straight in there on that body build or that group build with you Craig like I was in on last year's group build anyway I picked up the um, builder's choice if you don't know anything about this kit it's um, a builder designed this kit and he won he was voted got voted the builder's choice his name was put on the kit and he put it out on the market so um, like basically he built up a golf GTI Mark 1 GTI Golf um, you know I love my old Volkswagens I have that Porsche kit there like I said to trade for the, an old Scirocco I know you say these are getting them Scirocco's for door cheap over there but we haven't got them so I'm willing to give that kit that I spent 50 euro on the Porsche uh, GT1 kit but not you not started nothing it's opened but not started all the other bags are sealed Everything is sealed, it's just a box open on the Porsche that I'm willing to trade for one of them Shirokos. If anybody's interested, hit me up in the comments. Um, yeah, I got me me record, you know how bad I wanted records. So I end up getting this Peter built record. I seen um, Jeff sent one to Seamus. We only got them in our local, so it's all new to me, you know what I mean? They're only brand new kits in, especially being only brought to Ireland for the first time. So um, he ordered in a lot of the American kits. He told me he even has Fast and Furious kits in for me that I asked him to get in. I said you should sell them at the 35 euro for the Eclipse and the the new uh, GTX and the Charger. So yeah, that's where I picked up the two cars, the big rig, the Builder's Choice Golf GTI Mark One. Although I built the first Mark 1 GTI and don't know why and I don't have it on display because I was going to redo it Um, yeah that's where um, why I wanted this guy I'm not going to build it to the exact builder's choice um, set up I'm going to use the seat decals and all to give the checkout pattern and use on the roof or whatever because you get decals I'm sure you get them for the roof as well and the dashboard to match the seats but uh, this is a, a kit, like I was saying, that guy entered into the builder's choice, say, uh, whoever got the most votes, or, you know, I, I don't know if it went like that, but it was designed by this guy. He got his name put on it. Um, the personal lawyers then sent the builder out and put on the marker for him. So, it's basically just a Mark 1 GTI Golf. Um, I, I don't know if the guy was a mechanic or what and you got the, the decals all printed out to make it the internals all appear on the outside of the car if you get me so that's what the story is with this kit he obviously won it and he was voted it got voted on and that's it got put on the market so it got voted as the name of the kit is the mark one GTI Golf, um, the builder's choice. Where is it? No. Builder's choice. So they all voted, I assume, and this one, the vote, and they repopped as a new till from the old GTI Mark 1. So, yeah, these are another German car. And I have my Hondas, which are the JDM car. Have I, uh, I want to get as many Volkswagens and BMWs and Mercedes before I build them um, all them exact cars because I want all the Mercedes on one shelf, all the Hondas on another shelf, all the Volkswagens on another shelf, and so on. You know, um, 
Yeah, so I got my first big record key, which I'm happy about. I put another 116 scale kit behind the counter for myself over there. Um, to have a look for me to like collect it next week. Um, yeah, it's the fireboard with the big board on the uh, the engine AMT kit. The big board on the bonnet, the hood. So I want to do um band of one the car replicate that in that build to that kit so just a little tip lads my missus bought herself some pajamas pjs women's pjs and they come with these little ribbons that she always cuts out of them and look at the material perfect for sea belts the color might not be perfect but they're perfect for sea belts instead of them ones you can, when you get a forward set out to me kits and they give you the stickers. I'd rather have this material. Now I don't know if you can dye this stuff. If you can, I'll do it. I'll cut it into it. Because of two strings of it. I'll cut it into two um, strips. And then um, I'll dye them two different colours. Say one blue and one red. So I can use them for seatbelt material. For the photo wedge kits. Even though a lot of them have them that type of material for the belts, just the Tamiya ones don't. Well, anyway, that's all I have time for today, lads. Um, yeah, if you're certain watching the body build, check it out when you get the chance. Um, check his channel out. He's a good guy. The last two videos he was in the link. I only know how to put one link in at a time, so I said I'll put Jetros into this video. So um, get a chance, lads. If you're certain subscribe, go over to Jetro and give him a follow there subscribe to him and craig's 48 hour group build craig if i get in um, craig from what model if i get this guy um, mustang finished in time buddy i'll jump in on the build i'll do my best to have a knocked out by a uh, friday so i can uh, grab a quick kit and uh start building that so um and he's a wonder whatever happened to that little K car, racing car, still being done. The spotlights and the bumper are gonna be painted yellow, and I have to put the rear tail lights in. So I left the cage out, left the seat, the rally at uh, the bucket seat. It was just now I put this the Advan and Suzuki Sports decal to look like that. So there's that little JDM car version there. 124 scale. And that's the underneath of it. I cut the exhaust tips that I mounted onto the back bumper off. I'm gonna put a proper exhaust with a back box, like with a catalytic converter back box on the chassis. Just say all the spare parts bin. I'll just throw it onto that. But it's finished, and anyway, you could say I just have to put the back lights in, as I said. And a decal maybe on the ridge. Yeah, but that's it. Come on, they were all right, I suppose. Especially for the car, our original decal from 1987 or 1988. So, you know, a couple of years now I have one of these kits for you because um, these are guys that sent me stuff in the past, and I said that I'd send them out to the guys that sent me stuff. Just to be nice, just say thanks. Um, as soon as I can get the mail back out and running, I will. I'll do that, no problem. There's the Sephiro I opened up a while back as well, remember? Now it came with the front lip and everything else, but it didn't come with that in the, that oil cooler I have mounted to the body. That's an Impreza, a Subaru Impreza spoiler, and that's a Honda Civic spoiler because they do come as a. Um, this came with an RB20 DT engine piece to add to it. So, that's right done with that. There's the 280Z ZX that I was showing you. Some. That's it, I repainted it black, I sanded it back the best I could. Get all the decals off. 
flat blacked it again, then went around the window with chrome. And the oil cap is silver, but I'll colour that in a different colour. It was just so the colour that I put on the next will pop. I put the Nissan decal inside window because I already had that Japan by TBO. This little did I know was a if this continued kit when I got it. And I never knew, I didn't know that it was, like, was a discontinued kit and I just knocked it out around, I was only a learner at the time. But um, yeah, that's what I've done with that kit and uh, if I'd have known that was going to be a hard kit to get. Because it was the first one I've ever seen and it was the last one I've seen as well on the market so. Yeah, it's orange in mid drift on the box art going around the bend. Anyway guys, that's it, I have to tidy up your realm now, get rid of all these empty cans of coke, this is what I do, I sit in here all day drinking coca cola and it's just putting on an old belly, so I have to sort that out, cut down on the sugar before I give myself um, diabetes. <laughs> I drink nearly a tray a week. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to you guys. Stay safe and I'll chat to you again soon. I'll do my best to um, hop in on that build. And shout out to James Morris as well. He sent me that a long time ago. But I have it out because I'm wearing the Mustang engine. But um, yeah, shout out to you guys for uh, the support. Thanks to all yous. Appreciate it. Um, build on. I'll chat to you all again soon. 17 minutes now. So I don't want to hold you any longer. I'll talk to you later, boys. Yeah? Stay safe. Keep it up. Bye bye.